Hey everyone, Dave here. This headset is actually being charged and powered by the sun right now because it has a solar panel built into the headset to provide ultimately endless amounts of talk time in theory. So we're going to dive into all the details of this headset, how well it's being powered, and of course we're going to test out the noise canceling microphone that you hear my voice being recorded against our signature blender test, so stay tuned for that. This is the ModCom 1 Eco Pro by Trident Communication Technology. This is a rugged Bluetooth wireless headset designed for people who work outdoors, such as truckers, yard pickers, or even potentially first responders. What's unique about this headset is that it has a solar panel on the top of the headset. It's made by a company called Exeger, and it's called a power foil, and it's able to take in power from virtually any light source. That could be fluorescent lights, outdoor, or even our studio lights here. The headband is wider to fit the solar panel, but let's talk about the power performance that it generates. There is an app that you can get to monitor how much power it's consuming and how much power that it's generating. So right now inside, it's generating at about 0.2 to 0.5 milliamp hour, but it's consuming about two to three milliamp power. So it will definitely degrade the battery over time and it will ultimately die while it's inside with our fluorescent lights and a little bit of our studio lighting. Now we have our high powered studio lights that are pointing up to give us light in the background here and putting it in direct sight of that light, it's able to produce over 20 milliamps of power. So it will fully recharge the battery and keep it fully up to date. So, you know, if I need some battery power real quick, I could just put it over to my studio light and recharge the headset. But in all actuality, you'll probably be using this headset outside that's produced by the sun all the time, which is going to generate about 17 milliamps, which is going to allow you to not only use the headset, but also use it and it's still going to be recharging. Without the solar panel, the headset gets up to 40 hours of battery life and can be recharged with a micro USB cable if you don't have access to a reliable light source. Now, typically people will use this headset in a trucker type environment or outdoors, in which case uh, the manufacturer has reported that there are many users using the headset and haven't charged the headset in months. So you potentially have endless amounts of talk time with the use of the solar panel. There are many days that I leave the office and forget to plug in my headset to recharge it. So I come in the next day and my battery is dead on my headset, which is super frustrating, especially when you need it for an important phone call. With the uh, ModCom One Eco Pro, you're able to actually just place the headset on your dash as you're driving or while you're wearing it, it's automatically gonna be recharged. So you don't have to remember to plug it in. It'll just be ready to go for you on the next day. The headset is a durable design. It's not lightweight and cheap feeling. It's rugged and solid construction. It feels very durable. And it's designed to be able to handle being tossed around a semi truck and handle the outdoor and on the go type environments. And it's even IP57 water resistant and rated so it can handle any of the tasks you need. There's an adjustable set screw at the bottom of the headset. This is designed to set the microphone boom position exactly where you need it to go, and then you lock it into position. So when you throw the headset around, the microphone boom will stay in that position, so it's always going to be set right when you wear the headset. Plus, the headset is modular, so you can replace the headband. So if it breaks, or if you have a shared workstation, if you use this on a two-way radio or a shared smartphone and don't want to share your germs with somebody else, you just have your own headband and then take out the microphone boom and replace it with the other headband. It's only available in a single speaker option, which means your other ear is open to hear your surrounding environment so you can remain safe. And there's a couple of cushions on the headset. You have one on the top of the headband that makes it feel uh, more comfortable. And then the donut shaped ear cushion that rests on the ear isn't the softest or squishiest ear cushion, but it does help to make the headset more comfortable and it is a more durable cushion. So it's not going to wear out quickly, making it a more rugged headset. 
Getting set up and using the headset is very simple and easy. You'll press and hold the large button on the side of the headset for about three to five seconds until you see the Trident icon LED light start to flash red and blue. Then you'll go to your Bluetooth settings on either your smartphone, your computer, or even your Bluetooth enabled two-way radios and select ModCom from the list. There are three buttons on the side of the headset that allow you to wirelessly control your device up to 50 to 70 feet away. You have your large multi-function button that allows you to answer and end phone calls away from the device. And you can also double press that button to launch your voice assistant like Siri or Google. Then you have your volume up, and down button, and if you push both of those buttons for about one second, that will mute and unmute your microphone. Now, Trident advertises that it has a 97% noise canceling microphone, so we're gonna test that out in just a second, but one comment about the microphone boom is I like that it is a flexible microphone boom, so you can really fine tune the microphone placement, and that's extremely important for your voice to be picked up perfectly and not all your background noise. All right, now this is what it sounds like as a baseline, AirPods in a quiet environment. This is what it sounds like. All right, now this is the ModCom 1 Eco Pro in a quiet environment. This is what it sounds like. All right, now this is the AirPods with people talking on a meeting in the background. This is what it sounds like with AirPods and people talking in the background. Now this is the ModCom 1 with people talking in the background on a meeting. This is what it sounds like with the ModCom 1. And this is AirPods with barking dogs in the background. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs in the background. All right, now this is dogs barking in the background with the ModCom 1. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs in the background. And this is AirPods with crying babies in the background. This is what it sounds like with AirPods and crying babies. And this is ModCom 1 with crying babies in the background. This is what it sounds like with crying babies in the background. And this is AirPods with a blender in the background. This is what it sounds like. All right, now this is the ModCom with the blender roaring in the background. This is what it sounds like on the ModCom with a blender in the background. What did you think of the microphone performance? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Curious to hear your feedback. Now, if you need help finding the right headset for your situation and you're not sure which one's best, that's what our team here at Headset Advisor does. So reach out to us, call us, email us, live chat with us, or you can visit our website, headsetadvisor.com. The ModCom 1 Eco Pro is a rugged Bluetooth wireless headset with a solar panel for $249. It's available directly from the Trident Communication Technologies website. In regards to the price point, it's very comparable to the Blue Parrot B650 XT, except the Blue Parrot doesn't have a solar panel and it's not able to replace the headband like the ModCom 1. So for 30 to $50 more, it's going to be better for some people who want that endless talk time potential and don't want that battery anxiety or they have a shared workstation or like the idea of just being able to replace the headband. In my opinion, the ModCom 1 Eco Pro is really designed for people who work outdoors and have access to sunlight, which is going to be a reliable power source to recharge the headset. This could be for truckers, yard pickers, or anybody that really works outdoors and has uh, the need for a noise canceling microphone that's gonna block out those distracting noises and have better conversations on calls. Now, if you're looking for a wireless headset that will cover both your ears and has active noise cancellation to block out distracting noise, so if you're in an open office type environment and you want a headset that will have a good noise canceling microphone boom, check out the Orosound Tilt Pro. This is a headset that's made in France and has a super unique design and can fully enclose your ears, has really good sound quality for music, and it's great for your work calls and meetings. Check out the full in-depth review. We've done on that headset right here. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.